guys, Chris here with Armatan Quads. Uh, making an assembly video for the rooster. As you can see, it's already partially assembled. Um, doing this to keep the video short and also because I think that um, this section and this section here is very, very straightforward. Just by looking at it here, you can see how it's put together. Um, got the small top plate at the top, the sunk nuts. Uh, the sunk nuts, when I apply them in myself, I use a hammer, tap them in. Uh, when you do that with a hammer, uh, it may cause a little bit, tiny bit of delamination on the small edges here, here, and here. I am absolutely not worried about that myself. Um, and I know that's not where the strength is needed, it's really tiny. Um, if you're worried about that, then I would recommend you use a uh, cup head bolt uh, with a 2.5 millimeter X drive or a good driver and you can pull them in. I just hammer them in myself and that's good enough, works well. Um, and then from there you got a 12 millimeter flat head bolts from the bottom, um, securing that in. It's pretty straightforward. And then at the front we have the arm, small top plate, and then we have the titanium uh, part that just clamps on there. So the way I do it myself is I, I start with the, this bolt here. I don't start with the titanium. All right. I'll just get this bolt in first. So I'm going to do that. Here we go. And then I won't tighten that guy. I'll screw it in. But I don't put it too tight. I want the arm to be able to move now so I can line this up properly. Alright, so then I just eyeball that straight and I go ahead to fit the titanium. And this is the part that some guys will find hard, difficult, because the tolerance is intentionally really, really tight. So I just go to push that in. Now I've I'd already inserted this one myself, it went in fairly smoothly now, but it may not. It may be quite stiff and what you do is you simply push it back in place. Once that's done, you need to take your driver. This is titanium now, you're not going to damage it like this. Just put that through the hole, all the way through in the thread, and just wiggle that around in circle a couple times. Make sure it's all lined up properly, and then put in your boat, and it should line up just nicely, as so, with the titanium thread. And now I can tighten my second bolt. There you go, my front bit is on there now. And I'm going to use 12 mil, no less, for the front here, for this little stand off. Get that in there. I should be wearing my glasses. I'm not lining it up correctly now. Give me a second. Why is this so difficult for me? Okay. There we go. Both on the other side. Okay. There we go, that's installed. Now this one here, I've got partially assembled as well. This little grommet here is very easy to put that one in. These little bobbins on the other end are a little bit more difficult. And then you have to notice one thing about this rear part here, is that on one side there's a, a protrusion that's two millimeter, and on this side it's four millimeter. That means this is bottom, this is top. This is rear, this is forward, and as such, when this goes on there, the longer protrusion goes towards the, the top plate, like this. Right, and so, then I'm going to just go ahead and show you how I do this. For this we use 8mm, 8mm, I'm 
just going to put that there and mirror the same thing on this side. We'll screw that together here. And to make sure that it's straight easy, I just put it on the table. You can feel it when you're straight. When it's wiggling, I mean, you get it straight and just tighten it on there. That's it. This is ready to go on here now, like such. And for this, we use 8mm also on the bottom. Do that. Put that here. Here. Just like this. Go. One. There we go. Now, one thing I need to show you is these little bobbins here. It can be a real pain to put in there. Um, I've gotten it done using something like this little doll. It's, it's not sharp. It's dull at the end and kind of pushing it like this on the side and trying to push the rubber in and um, I have been successful but it's a pain and there's another method that's actually a bit easier this is a piece of dental floss we'll try not to use the really thin dental floss because it may actually cut through the rubber and also mind you the rubber part you're looking at now is pre-production version uh, the final production version will be easier to put on Okay, so I just put that through like this, and I will put my bobbin on there. Pinch it on the other, and I just turn it around a bit. Twist it, to make sure it's nice in there. And just pull from the other side. And then I need to somehow put the bobbin as flat as I can, and start pulling on the other side. And I pull, and I turn around and circle a little bit like this. Slowly, not too fast, and there you go. Just went through, and now I can just remove the floss. And there you go, it's on there. As for the bigger grommet that goes on there, this guy here, I don't need to show you how to install that one, super easy. Okay, so from there, pretty straightforward now. We're almost done. The top plate goes here, and for this, we use 6 mil for the top plate. Tolerance on this is impeccable as you can see. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not even touching the handle of the screwdriver. I'm just doing it the, the nice way, how it's supposed to be when everything lines up properly. I only need to use the handle to, tight, to tighten the bolt or loosen the bolt. It's just really sweet. And this is not M2 like on the Chameleon. So you can tighten them more. Don't go reef them on them like mad now, but these guys are not going to strip easy on you, believe that. Especially the ones in the titanium, they won't strip at all. If anything, you'll strip the hole in the bolt. In the bolt head, you won't strip the titanium itself. And then the top plate is thinner a bit. We use only 4 millimeter. So they're all the same bolts on the entire frame, but they have different length. In this case, we got uh, 6, well, 4, 6, 8, and 12 millimeters. And then when you uh, purchase this, we'll give you spares of each size in case something happens, you drop one, something like that. Um, because these bolts are not the easiest to find on the market. All right. These are all on there. Give them a nice tug. Now I've already applied the foam to the top plates here. I think I've tightened these already. Yeah. And that's it. The frame is complete now. It's fully assembled. Alright, I hope this helps. Cheers guys.